Hello, I am Paul Savlich. I am Shared Interest Regional Development Executive of South America. And here we are in the middle of the rainforest in the Sabalujo community in the oriental jungle of Peru. And I would like to show you now how Shared Interest investors can create a difference for the lives of thousands of people in this area, particularly the ones related to the Brazil nut production. Shared Interest works with a variety of fair trade businesses here in Peru, and one of them is Candela Peru, who are based in Lima. They process thousands of tons of Brazil nuts every year for an international market. With our help, they do that in an ethical way that not only protects their own forest, but also helps boost the local economy and the livelihoods of thousands of local people. My name is Gaston Vizcarra. I'm actually president of Candela Peru an alternative trading organization founded in 1989. And we mainly work with food products, organic and fair trade certified, most of them, from the rainforest and in the near future from other areas from the highlands of Peru. This is a industrial area in, in the skirts of Lima. More than 30 years ago, people came to these sand dunes, because this is what it was at the beginning, and they decided to settle here. And there was an area uh, that was to promote production, right? For people not to go far away to, to, to be able to have a job. So we had the chance to, to come here and, and, and get this area and put it in place. And little by little, we started from, from a, a sand <laughs> terrain to what it is now. The people that work here are mainly local, uh, mainly women, most of them. We started with handcrafts. We dealt with handcrafts for a few years, and then we got involved in food. About the challenges we have faced, they have been many. Uh, we started really from the scratch. We have learned a lot throughout time, and, and we are happy that we've been supported by organizations such as Share Interest that has been with us for more than 10 years now, uh, been uh, and, and helping us in, in our financial needs in many ways. In this plant, we receive nuts that come from Puerto Maldonado. The nuts come from the rainforest, not really farms. They are concessions granted by the state. It's primary rainforest. We're talking a wild product here. That's very important because while these nuts are demanded, people will take care of the forest because that's the source of the raw material. My name is Guadalupe Lanao, Lupe. I am the gerente of Candela, co-founder of Candela. We started this work about 22 years this is the first time Shared Interest has visited these farms and met the gatherers who live and work along the banks of the Madre de Dios River in eastern Peru. I've really enjoyed it. It's been such an experience to be able to meet the harvesters for the Brazil nuts. And uh, also earlier today, we managed to visit uh, the opening of a, of a warehouse that was with a big project that meant so much to the, to the people of that community. So it's been an amazing experience. For me, this is my, the end of my first year at Shared Interest. So uh, my first trip with Shared Interest and what a fantastic way to celebrate that year, to come here to the jungle and to see one of our oldest partners in Candela and see the harvesting of the Brazil nuts. It's been absolutely brilliant. It's interesting to see how a financial organization comes all the way to understand the businesses. Usually finance people say on their desks, on their phones, under their accounts, and, and deal from there. But sharing this came all the way. So for us, it's very important for people to see and understand what are the circumstances and what kind of environment we deal with. Gracias a la ayuda de, de, de Share Interest, por ejemplo, con los fondos que nos, que nos, que nos prestan año a año, es que permiti han permitido que crezcamos en la operación. Eh, es, no, es, o sea, es evidente eh, pues, cómo ha crecido nuestra operación en los últimos 10 años. 
eh, y básicamente por los fondos que recibimos, por los créditos que recibimos, por el soporte en capital de trabajo que hemos pasado, de, hemos duplicado nuestra línea y en base a la confianza y al, al trabajo que venimos trabajando desde los castañeros, nosotros siendo como parte de la cadena y, y pudiendo es establecer relaciones de largo plazo a nivel comercial y tal. I think what we've seen during this visit is that the pre-finance is so important in order to be able to secure the produce and also to um, have access to market for the producers because they really rely on the pre-finance to be able to harvest the nuts before they actually get paid for the final shipment. Entire families work during the harvest season which starts during the rainy season in January and lasts for about five months. For most living in this region, nut gathering is a main source of income. Me llamo Justa Castro Quispe y me dedico a trabajar castaña. Yo soy castañera hace 30 años. Hace cinco años trabajo con candela. Siempre nos dan algún apoyo cuando necesitamos. Es por eso me gusta trabajar con la candela. Para trabajar siempre necesitamos un adelanto para los personales para comenzar a trabajar y siempre nos aceptan el apoyo. The Brazil nuts grow here naturally in the rainforest and the gatherers who are known as castañeros have been harvesting them for hundreds of years. El producto solamente es, este, crece en tres países en el mundo y en la, en, la, en la selva de tres países del mundo, en Perú, Brasil y Bolivia. Es un producto único, es un producto que Lo que yo digo es de producción, edición limitada. La gente que lo conduce debería estar su, totalmente feliz de tenerlo en su, en, su, en su mano porque no hay mucha de esa producción. Every year the harvesting campaign starts. It's the rainy season, so rain and wind and sun and the, and the pots that are hanging on these big trees start to fall and you have to wait a little bit for them to fall. You don't want to be down there when they fall. This is a four, five, six week process to collect all the pots that fall from these trees. And then you crack them with a machete. And you take the in-shell nuts into sacks. Usually these sacks will weigh around 80 kilos. Most of the time they are carried on their backs all the way to the camps where they store them until a tractor or a boat will arrive to get them all the way to the plant. In the factory, we weigh these nuts to ensure the amount of product we're receiving from each producer. And these nuts lie on shadow and are shoveled uh, to dry. After that, we have cylinders more industrial way to do now the processing with hot air and for 40 to 45 hours you dry these nuts in the cylinders. After that there's a steaming equipment where you put the nuts in there and you steam them for seconds to allow the cracking be easier. So those dried and steamed in shell nuts go into the tables where the women crack these products. So each nut is cracked one by one. It's, it's incredible the, the amount of work in, involved. After that this product is dried again and then they go through a machine that will sort them by sizes and then they will go in these sacks where they will be coated in lots that will be sent then to Lima. There's a lot of impact in the local economy with this product. We are in a country that there's a lot of washing of uh, nar narcotic money. So you never know what you're dealing against with. So to be trying to deal with fair trade principles, with legal requirements and right of workers, with quality issues, and to compete in a market that recognizes these efforts but not so widely to make a big price difference is a very challenging task. So the support we receive in finances from share interest, from people that are believing and putting their resources in this kind of organization is 
totally welcomed and we hope that we can continue in the future. There are so many fair trade organisations that we could actually offer pre-finance to um, and so I think our work is just really beginning in this region.